the onboard microphone of the iPhone 6 is actually pretty good if you can get close enough to your subject. Um, you know, the signal to noise ratio of a MEMS uh, microphone uh, currently is about 60 to 65 dB, which is not amazing, but uh, you know, for something so small and portable and with such um, such versatility and convenience, you know, that's not terrible. You know, that's pretty good. And like I say, if you get close enough to the subject, it's pretty good. Uh, but like all microphones, uh, it basically falls apart in any sort of windy condition. Um, so in the past, with the iPhone 4 and 4S, I used these Ryko wind jammers. Uh, made an entire drama using audio perspective on the uh, iPhone 4 and 4S and, and these worked really really well on the 4S uh, which has the microphone on the end but with these you can see there's these adhesive rings which are basically it doesn't take too much to figure out that that is not going to fit over that without smearing over the lens and all kinds of horrible things so with a 6 and 6s I kind of began to think that I couldn't use the onboard mic in windy conditions and started looking for alternatives but then uh, I happened across this case this uh, ballistic urbanite case which my phone's been sitting in for quite a while quite some time and I figured perhaps it would be possible to uh, wedge the actual fur into the case between the case and the microphone. Um, now I believe the iPhone 6s do actually use this microphone here. If we can get that some focus on that, possibly not. Focus. Hello. Well, you know there's a microphone there. I know there's a microphone there. Um, it's just a little bit too thin to focus on. Uh, but there's a microphone there which is used for DSP noise reduction, it actually uses sounds coming in that microphone to subtly uh, do, do some noise cancellation, So, which is all good, um, but at the same time, uh, this, this mic, if you get wind noise in this microphone, you know, you're pretty doomed, don't you? So anyway, if we, if we, it oh, seems, like, seems I've lost autofocus, isn't it? Which is really useful. So, if you look at these uh, fluffy things here, you know, typical sort of rye coat uh, hair, you think, well, you know, that's just going to get in front of the lens as well, isn't it? But, um, you know, you might see the scissors in the background there. I do think it's possible to um, position it such that you'll, you'll minimise the hair in front of the lens and obviously, well it's actually molting, always a problem with Ryko, it seems to molt like a real pet. Um, so let's see what we can do. Um, so ideally it wants to go about there. Maybe we can probably adjust it when it's actually in place as well. Let's see. So that looks fairly well positioned. So that you know that's going to afford you some pretty good wind protection. You know. It's not going to do miracles, obviously, but it will be better than a naked microphone. You can see you're going to get hair over the lens there. So we can just give him a quick trim. Should be okay there. That's uh, it's 
So you can see that's that's my finger. So you can see the hair is either clear or inconsequential to the you know, it doesn't focus on it. So uh, at some point I will uh, take this outside and uh, give it a trial. But for now, that's uh, my tip for using these Rycoat Mini Wind Jammers on your iPhone 6S, uh, sorry, <laughs> iPhone 6 Plus, which is what this is, and I dare say it will work the same on the iPhone 6. I hope you find this useful.